She's hauling butt. She's trying hard. She's not trying to make mistakes. I've got to help her too. If she's giving me a ton of effort, I need to give her a ton of effort. And I got to stay patient. Heal. What's up, everybody? Bob with Lone Duck. This is sweet girl Quinn. This is my little personal dog. Um, actually, I think today is her birthday. Happy one year. You're going to do tea pattern on your birthday. We're going to talk about tea pattern for a second before we start. Tea pattern is where I start teaching dogs how to handle. Stop on a whistle, cast, um, all those building blocks that we've incorporated through force fetch, sitting on a whistle, um, three-handed casting, which we did a video with Roscoe where he just started. Now this is like middle of the way through tea pattern. She's been forced to a pile. She stops on a whistle, pretty good. I may need to nick to instill it. Um, and then maybe 75% of the time she casts where I tell her. So what you're gonna see is a dog that's not perfect on tea pattern. You're gonna see make her make mistakes. And you're gonna see how I handle it. Verbal nose, nose with nicks. I'll tell you what I'm doing when I do it. But one of the things I like to do is get them going to the back pile first. Their auto thought should be drive straight back. Okay, here girl, come on, let's get to work. Heel, sit, here, good. Back. The idea behind this guys is we want to do more straight backs than stopping and handling, which maybe sounds counterproductive because you're like, you're supposed to be teaching them how to handle. But if you handle too many times in a row, sit and back and you stop them too many times in a row, they're going to anticipate you blowing the whistle and they're going to stop in the center or their speed's going to be really slow anticipating the whistle and you're going to, it's going to look all dumpy. Heel, sit, 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 good, back. So usually I'll do like every other or every third I'll handle. So she's about to get handled. a girl, here. And I'll tell you when I give a correction. I'll tell you how I gave the correction. And I'll tell you the level I gave the correction at. Here, sit. Sit, good, right there. Back. Neck. Good. No. Here. Sit. Neck. No, here. Sit. Good. Over. Over. Atta baby. Hey, good dog. Okay. Very good. Here. Heel. Now, now we go straight back. Sit. Good. Back. Good. Here. So on this next one, I'm going to stop her and I'm going to give her a left back. As we talked about in our three-handed casting video, I want to heel, neck, heel, sit. I don't need her standing up and moving around at the line. When I tell her sit, her butt's got to be on the ground. Here. Good. Back. Back. We create English. Hey, back. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Um, we create English. So I moved off to my left a little bit to get that good left cast. If I, if I gave a right, here girl, I know, here, heel. If I give a right over, sit, 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 sit. If I give a right over, my next cast should be a left back. Then if I give a left over, my next cast should be a right back. As that dog's progressing, you see her make mistakes, okay? Why would I make it harder on her? I'm trying to simplify and teach first. Then when she's done with tea pattern, I can go right over, right back, right over, left over, you know, and just start getting her. No matter where I tell you to go, you sit on a whistle good and you go where I tell you. But she's still learning, so I want to make it a little bit simpler on her so that her confidence stays high. Good. Back. At a girl, always go straight back. Always think about sending the dog straight back. 
And if you notice, she's not slowing down at all. Her attitude's staying up. Set. Set. Good. Box. Nick. Here. Here. Good. Over. No. I'm going to turn it up. And now I'm going to move forward. Set. Good. Set. Over. Distance from the dog erodes control. So maybe I need to be a little bit closer to her on those ones that she's confused at. Set. Good. Back. She's hauling butt. She's trying hard. She's not trying to make mistakes. I've got to help her too. If she's giving me a ton of effort, I need to give her a ton of effort. And I gotta stay patient. Heel. Heel. Set. Set. Back. Set. Over. Let's build confidence, right? I don't want her making a ton of mistakes. I want to help her out a little bit. Hey, good dog, okay? You're a good dog. Heel. Sit. Sit. Back. Had a baby. We're going to do a left back on this next one. And I'm going to create English. I'm going to take a side step over here. So when she turns and looks at me, here, girl. Now she's getting a little sloppy on her hold. She's probably a little hot, so I'm nicking. Sit. Right there, and there's the neck. Sit. Good. Back. Good. Back. No, no. No. So we're going to move up. I'm going to set her down in the center here. Neck. Good. Back. At a girl. Good. These are all really good mistakes for you guys to see because she's no different than your dog. Your dog's gonna make mistakes. How do I handle it? Heel. Sit. Sit. Good. Back. Good. Sit. Sit. Back. Crushing it. Miss Quinn, learning from mistakes. Good dog, babe. Come on, here. So now I'm gonna probably send her on one or two straight back and end her session. She's getting a little hot. Sit, 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 good. Back. Atta baby, look at that momentum. Good dog, I don't wanna dampen that momentum, but I also need her to listen. So we've gotta have a balancing act of under control, listening to me, complying with commands, teaching, here, teaching, sit. Sit, heel, sit, heel, good, here, sit, good, back. Oh, anyways, things to think about, here. You should have way more pile bumpers at the back pile. If you're the average guy or gal, you need to have a dozen or two dozen set heel bumpers in your truck or car, right? Two or three at the over piles, the rest at the back piles because you're gonna run straight back way more often and you're casting back to that pile. So get online, order you up some, some sweet bumpers. Um, I like big three inch white ones or black and white ones generally. This, if you notice, this is short grass. We actually have mowed a little bit of strips and we have white poles. This drill is not how to teach them how to run blinds. We're not running blinds, we're teaching T-pattern. I want her to look out there and see that white pole and confidently drive to it. I want her when she sits and looks at me and I go like this, she turns and looks and sees a white pole and drives. Don't do it in high cover. Don't use orange bumpers. 
make it very visible. This is a teaching drill on how to handle. Um, there you go. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid, hit subscribe. We got a lot more of these coming out. Also tune into Lone Ducks Gun Dog Chronicles podcast. You can find anywhere podcasts are hosted and a lot of great training tips and uh, awesome interviews with buddies and friends and all that jazz. So thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys later. Uh -huh.